let's walk through the process of building Node.js from source. I'll be demonstrating this on Debian 10 Buster. If you need a Debian system to follow along, see my previous video on installing Linux in VirtualBox. I'm going to download and build the current latest long-term support version, 14. When I'm done, I'll have Node and NPM executables installed in my system along with the man page. First, let's install the dependencies needed. sudo apt install build essential python3 distutils and git. We'll need the build tool chain and python3 distutils to build, but we'll use git just to fetch the code. You could download the source from nodejs.org and you don't need to use git. Make sure you get the right version of Node for your project. For example, if we were planning on building VS Code from source with our version of Node, you'd need Node between version 10 and version 14, so you wouldn't want the latest version of 15. Instead of downloading from the website, I'll use git to fetch the version I want. I can list the different branches and tags with git ls remote. git ls remote https colon slash slash github.com slash node.js slash node pipe it through grep tags and pipe it through less i know the latest lts version is 14 so i can look around and i can spot that the latest is v14.16.0 so that's the one i'll clone git clone dash dash depth one dash dash branch v14.16.0 https colon slash slash github.com slash node.js slash node. Depth one means only get the latest revision and don't download the full history, which will save time and space. The branch can be omitted if you want the master branch, but I recommend picking a specific tag. Then I'll move into the directory with the source code using cd node. The build process is really simple. It follows the standard configure, make, make install pattern. So I'll run dot slash configure first. Then I'll run make dash j4. The j specifies how many jobs and I recommend setting it equal to your number of CPUs. This might take a while. It took about 20 minutes on my virtual machine. Then when it's done making, you can run sudo make install. This will put the node and npm executables in your path and it'll install the man page so you can run man node. I'll run which node and which npm and check the versions with dash dash version. Then I'll confirm the man page is there too. Everything looks good. So now you know how to build and install node.js from source. Check out devdungeon.com and subscribe for much more content.